Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, time is fluid. So whenever you're viewing this, it could represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box. If you would ever like to skip ahead, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm going to do two separate readings here. The first is going to be a general love reading. The second will be a singles reading. You can actually say for both or either or, okay? Your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom, but it is general, so it can be flipped or reversed. Surrender defensiveness. I think that you are very guarded when it comes to this person. You don't know if you can trust them. You know, you've been hurt, maybe betrayed or lied to in the past. Um, there's like a very guarded energy here. Okay, cards are flying out here. What do we have? We have a few things coming out for this person. We have you deserve love, express your love, and children. Okay, so this person, I'm going to start. I'm going to start with them just really quickly. This person that you're dealing with, they may be, they may, they may have children. They could be dealing with somebody else who's very childish. You know, friends, family, coworker, partner. Um, this person doesn't feel valued or appreciated. Some of them, I also want to say, could be putting their lives on hold specifically because of children, okay? Maybe they have some kind of obligation, you know, to family. Um, but they deserve love and they want to express this to you. But this person, they may have held themselves back in the past because, you know, they were bound to something, okay? We'll get to that, though. I'm going to put these right here. All right. So, let's start here with you. All right, Scorpio. I apologize if the video is a bit shaky, you guys. Um, I am trying to get more bed rest, so I'm just doing what I can do when I can do it. Uh, if I am talking too fast, there is, um, uh, I'm sorry, three dots at the top right-hand corner. If any YouTube video should be in this vicinity somewhere, you can adjust the playback speed there. Okay. The Empress. So, some of you could be, you know, wives, mothers yourself, husbands, fathers, and just relevant. Taurus, sometimes Aries energy. Or Libra. You could be dealing with somebody with those signs in their chart. But the Empress would also symbolize growth, fertility, creation. We talk about fertility doesn't mean that someone's about to, you know, get knocked up. No. It, it could for some of you, but... Um, the Empress would also talk about, you know, growth, creation, birth to something, new life, a new beginning, possibilities. It's a very nurturing energy, you know, giving your all to something. You know, you could also be somebody who embodies all the traits of all the queens, you know, someone who's very passionate and intelligent and strong and, you know, understanding, you know, just what you would look for in a partner. Three of Cups. Okay, so, you know, really wanted to enjoy this energy. Wanted to spend time with this person. You know, not wanting things to be so heavy because it feels like there's been a lot of heaviness around you. And with this kind of energy, which says, Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear non-defensive response. I feel like you may be pushing this person away. You know, not, not angrily, not mean, but it's kind of like you've been hurt, you're guarded. You're nervous to let them in or communicate or you don't trust this person. Uh, maybe because they've held back because of previous restrictions or responsibilities. Why is this here? You feel a deep attraction to this person. You feel a deep passion for them. Fire energy there. Um... This is about, you know, intending to create something new, though. Like, this is all about creation and celebration. Now, I do want to say, okay, some of you may be finding out that you are pregnant or that your person is pregnant. This is a general reading, so that is not a message for every single one of you. Some of you actually may find out that someone close to you, you know, like um, a sister or a cousin or someone close to you, friend, could also, you know, um, have conceived or something, or expecting but this is about this is about creating something. This is about creation here. An announcement of that, you know, a new love, a new excitement, a new passion. Some of you could be fearful, not even just of your person, but of other people who may disapprove or, you know, maybe be jealous or 
don't want to see you succeed, you know, don't want to see you happy, um, want it to take that away from you, could be, you know, friends, family, coworkers, you know, whatever the case may be here, you know, that, you know, it's, you kind of wanted to protect this because you know you're excited about this new beginning. Yeah, look at all this, the eight of wands. I mean, this is movement forward in a very positive direction. There's a lot of attraction, a lot of deep chemistry with this person. Um, I see a very flirtatious energy here as well. I mean, going out, spending time, dating, you know, just, there's just a lot of flirtatious energy here, a lot of growth. And I, but I do want to put that warning up for some of you who may be in your childbearing years, just be careful if you're not trying to conceive because you definitely could be very fertile right now with, with this kind of energy going on. Let's take a look at your person. How do they think about Scorpio, please? They cannot stop thinking about you. They stay trapped in their thoughts about you, okay? They are consumed with this. Some of them may actually feel trapped or something. They may feel trapped or bound in a situation. They may not know how to completely break free from it or move on from it to come towards you, to be free to move towards you. But they do see a lot of power in you, though, with, as the Empress there. You know, they see you as very strong, very confident, very sure of yourself. And some of you may be shaking your head like thinking, thinking, no, you're not. That's not how they see you. They see you as very strong. Almost a bit intimidated by, you know, your courage. How do they feel? How do they feel? Whew. Okay, so it could be a strong water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person definitely has very deep emotions for you. Okay, this person, you know, they may... Um, prefer to express their emotions through physical stuff, you know, flirting, holding hands, you know, spending time with you, that kind of thing. Um, they may be having a hard time, you know, holding back from expressing how they feel because they definitely want to here. Um, this person may have been immature in the past for some of you, or they may have had children that may have been a restriction for them, but they do know they want to be happy and they see that with you. They can't stop thinking. They know that you're the one for them. Tell me more. Interpret more, please, for, about how they feel. Okay, a couple cards coming out here. All right, so, well, okay, we have the Page of Wands, Aries, Lewis, Sagittarius energy, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and then Aries energy here with the Fool. This person, they care deeply about you, but it's like it's easier for them to express that, you know, maybe through flirt flirting, that kind of thing, physical touch. They may have a harder time with, the, you know, expressing how they feel verbally into words. Maybe you're looking for that confirmation from them, though. You know, you're an empress. You're not about to take, you know, inferior offers is what I want to say you definitely have choices and they could feel very conflicted here because you know they want to make sure that you choose them they feel like you are the right they want to fight for this though they want to they want to build that courage up that confidence to just tell you directly how they feel about you they see you as the ten of cups they see you as long term they see stability commitment here happiness um and they're going to take they're going to take a risk okay they want to do this they want to tell you how they feel they're nervous okay this person's very nervous to express you know i don't feel like this person's ever told you that they love you wow look at the deck gemini energy here look at that the lovers strong soulmate energy there's some kind of pain here they could be i want to say i don't want to say immature uh, but they're you know and maybe emotionally immature they may have a harder time talking about their feelings or opening up you know, that could be hard for them to just discuss that, you know, and some people are just kind of nervous to get rejected, especially when they see you, you know, as the empress, they could be nervous to really just tell you how they feel or, you know, get mushy, gushy, that kind of thing, that Hallmark movie kind of, you know, confession of love, you know, it makes them nervous. They don't want to say the wrong thing or they don't want to look silly. They want you to see them as strong and confident. They want to say it the right way. What are their intentions, please? they're not going to give up on this okay their intention here we have the ten of wands i mean they're it doesn't matter how difficult things get they're not going to give up on this relationship with you okay they're going to keep pushing through show me their actions please the world a completion they could be moving closer to you there could be communication here online over the internet there definitely feels like travel or some kind of plans to see each other or be together uh, let's get some advice messages here for you this card's wanted to fly out so we have the full aries energy This is about something new, a new beginning, a leap of faith, a new chance, an opportunity here. 
they could be nervous. I mean, you jump, I jump, you know, I'm kind of feeling like that whole Titanic, like, you know, magical Roman. Wow, I'm splitting the deck. Look at that. Two of Wands, the Empress. And they, they see a future with you. You see a future with them. Some of you want to have families with them. They want that with you. Um, it's just, it just feels like, you know, there's, you're guarded with your heart. You're nervous. They're not want the same thing. They do. They really do. Whatever's been holding them back, they're trying to overcome that. They're not going to give up on this. They're not going anywhere. Even if they, you know, pull back or feel like you feel like they're in their heads or they're not sure what they want. And again, I'm not justifying any actions, behaviors like that. I'm never going to do that. Um, it, they're Just know that they're, this person, they're not, they can't leave you alone. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't break the feelings they have for you. This strong, deep connection they feel. They don't want you to get away from them. They are, they are working to build up this confidence to just tell you how they feel. What's the advice for Scorpio, please? You're nervous about taking a risk with them, but I think you're going to do it anyway. Um, it's like, you're, like I said, you're protective of your heart. You're protective of getting hurt here. But there's a, it's risky, but there's a new offer here. You still see it. You see like, it's a, kind of like you're... You may feel like this person maybe is a bit immature or they're too spontaneous or something. Are, are they sure that this is what they want? Are they serious about it? I see travel and movement here. I don't see either of you letting each other go. You want to make this right. Fighting for this, okay? Maybe leaving behind something in the past. Somebody here could be going through a divorce or be thinking about that process. Virgo energy there. Libra energy there. Um, if it's not a divorce, somebody could be leaving behind a job or, you know, selling a property or something. There's like some kind of movement here. Someone could be, they just don't let this go. They want to make this right here. They want to make it happen. They want to express how they feel to you. I see you being guarded, but I see you, you know, meeting with them. I see you talking with them. I see you, neither one of you wanted to let each other go. Alright, so this was your reading. I'm going to go ahead and pull cards for singles. I'm going to pause this so I can clear everything out. Alright, so single Scorpios. What messages, what guidance, what clarity, what insights do we have, please? For single Scorpios, please. Five of Pentacles. Some of you could be feeling kind of alone right now. Like, you know, maybe you've been doing your own thing for quite some time. Or some of you could be going through like a bad breakup or divorce. Some of you could be having a hard time financially as well. What else? Who's coming in? What do we got? To? <laughs> Scorpio energy. Something very unexpected could have happened for somebody. Okay, somebody could have lost their job. Okay, that could have been you. This could be a very specific message for somebody. Um... I'm not going to keep these, but I'm going to look at them real quick. Somebody, yeah, somebody was hurt. Either somebody lost their job here or somebody was dealing with a very narcissistic past energy. Could have been a Leo specifically or a Capricorn. Uh, could have been any sign, air sign, but this person had a really big ego. This person was very cold, very harsh. You, now you see it very clear. Um, they could have been very controlling with money. It feels like no matter how much you gave to the connection, you had to leave it behind because they, maybe they were lying to you, betrayed you, kept secrets from you. And again, the energies could be reversed. could be the new person that you're dealing with. But for some of you, this past energy, I mean, it could have been two, three years ago for some of you. It could have been, you know, six weeks ago for some others of you. You know, it hurt you. And you just feel very alone right now. You kind of maybe, some of y'all even want to say maybe suffering from, you know, like uh, PTSD or depression even. Um, it was very unexpected. You Maybe you learned something that you weren't expecting to hear about this person. They may be coming back around. This past energy may be coming back around for you singles. Just, you know. But I think there's something better coming. Let's take a look and see. What else do we have to know? Okay. I think you see the past for exactly what it was. You may be hurt, you may be feel betrayed, you but you know, you may even still love that person in some ways, but it's like it's over, it's done with. Alright, what else do we have for Scorpio, please? Ooh, new opportunities. It's about time. The will of the year, will of fortune. 
good luck, good fortune, good things coming around to you. Some of you, it could be a year. Okay, or, now, now listen, don't freak out. A lot of people see this card, Nico. When I say a year, they go, oh my God, I can't wait a year to be happy. I can't wait a year to meet the right one. This doesn't mean it's going to be a year before you meet this person. It just means that throughout the next 12 months, the next year of your life, there's going to be a lot of positive changes. You know, some of you could be starting to finally start your own business or, you know, um, building up a savings account. Some of you could be getting a better job or, you know, working towards hiring your education, whatever that is for you. All these opportunities, all these doors opening up for you over the course of this next year. I mean, I think it's really going to be, you know, full circle, a full turning point here. Yes, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could be getting married next year, okay? Some of you could be planning a wedding. Some of you could be, you know, working really hard on building up your stability. Wow, it could be meeting the one, two of cups under the deck. Um, strong earth energy towards for Capricorn, a little bit of water here. Some of you are, you know, you're meeting someone, you're getting to know them. It feels like, you know, you are ha asking a lot of questions. You know, you're moving in a good, I feel like you're going to be in a completely different place place this time next year now that does like I say that does not mean you're not going to be happy until a year rolls around that means throughout the next year you all you know things are just changing slowly moving into the right direction things are now falling beginning to fall into place new opportunities okay who is this person who is this person queen of wands could be a, a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius uh, now male or female does not matter this can also be you know you getting your confidence back you know, working on your passions. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's very determined, very excited, very attractive. You know, this is somebody who knows what they want in life. They're not going to let anything stand in their way. You know, it's like any past person. Good luck. You've put it. You've put an end to anything in the past. Scorpio energy. Show me who this person is coming in. Who's what's coming in in love for Scorpios, please? Who is this person? How can they identify this new person, please, Spirit? The magician could be a Virgo Gemini. Sometimes can represent Scorpio as well. This person is all about creation. This person, uh, they definitely have a lot of, uh, wow. <laughs> you, some of you, Capricorn energy, strong fire energy. This could be a very strong soulmate energy. Could be a very, um, with these two cards, I definitely want to say it definitely could be a very physical connection with this person. Like a lot of intensity, a lot of chemistry, a lot of heat, okay, a lot of passion. It's not a bad thing. There's creation here. Some of you actually could be getting pregnant, like I say. That's not for all of you, but with, the, with King of Wands, Queen of Wands, the Magician, there's creation around this, all right? So just be careful if that's not what you're trying to do. But there's somebody who definitely wants an opportunity. With you. They want to work hard to have this opportunity, okay? Who is this person? Could be a Virgo specifically. Very strong energy here. This person, um, you know, who's maybe really just taking the time to shed a light, get to know you. They're, they want to know who you are. They feel like maybe you're kind of like a very um, solitary kind of person. They, they want to bring you out of your shell a little bit. They want to inspire you. And I feel like they are. I feel like they are in a lot of ways. Wow. The strong love. I mean, this is a beautiful energy. Ace of Cups. I mean, you really couldn't ask for better. I mean, there's definitely love here. There's emotions pouring out here. This definitely could be, you know, the one, right? Who go long term with this person? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, beautiful energy. We have Scorpio energy under the deck. Look at that. It's like now you're you're nervous to work together with this person because you've been hurt in the past. But there's a very transformative energy here. This person is a wish fulfillment. This person definitely could be your true love. I mean, this person. There's a lot of emotions here. A lot of you know attraction here. This person wants to get to know you. They want to bring you out of your shell. They want to spend time with you. They don't want to rush you. I mean, he, this person, look, they're taking their time before they pick up that cup. They want that cup, but they're not about to just take it. You know, they're going to make sure that you're comfortable with them. And I think that you really appreciate that. Beautiful, positive things coming here. You know, and I want to say in career, in, mo in money, finances, and just in your overall happiness and in love. A beautiful energy coming in. Could be a strong Gemini Virgo energy for some of you. We also have a little bit of water, a little bit of fire here. And earth. All right, so this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.